Well, good morning, everyone. Oh, there he is. I seen that this box is all messed up here. I was hoping we had something. Oh, there's this high bank trail going through right there. I had this box sitting on. Uh, other one down there by the water is empty. But let's see what we can figure out here with this dude. He's way down in them roots. And he looks like he's going to not even be very salvageable. Yeah. That's probably one of the worst rub coon I've ever seen. That's no good. No good at all. And this is only the second one of the day. I think we have seven possums already. Gonna be one of them days. But what do you do? You keep trapping. That's what you do. Put that chunk of fish up in there. Um, I'm actually going to be pulling a good part of my boxes today because they're talking four to eight inches of snow over the next couple days. So I don't want to be out walking around in ditches for that. Mmm. Touchy one. Maybe right here. Get that plug back in there. We'll be getting down the road. Well, I see we got at least one here in the dog proof. Oh, he's sitting right there. Just the one down here. But glad to have him. That's the third one of the day. Uh, it's never good if I can keep track of how many we're catching, so we got them taken care of and down the road. Well, it's just gonna be one of these daggum days. Uh, we got us another possum. Black one, too. A lot more common around here uh, than a lot of places, come to find out. I'd say probably one in every five I catch is probably black, so kind of interesting interesting to me how certain areas are a lot different than others make sure my fish is still in there yep uh, i think we're over 10 possums already this morning a couple even in dog proofs which we hadn't had that happen yet until today so got a feeling we're gonna have a couple possums today we'll get that tucked in there and get out of here the one that had one three days in a row is empty I was kind of deflated by that, but you come in here and we finally got one in this box in the tube here. Heck, I don't care which one they go into as long as they're in one of them, right? It's kind of dark in here. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see this, but we're not catching much. So, well, not catching many coon. We're catching plenty of possums. Nice one there. Check for bait. Still got bait. But remember, right, I had this stick on the top, and we're going to slap it back on there, because why not? Run that like that. That baby plugged back in my box there. We'll be getting down the road. That's a beautiful sight there. Beauty. Not rubbed. Still real fuzzy on his legs there. So his, his flanks still look pretty good and everything. That's just a nice, nice coon. Can't complain about that. Timber to timber trail here. You guys have seen me catch several here now in these two DPs. But nice big coon. We'll be getting down the road. I seen him from the other side of the bridge where I was pulling out a possum got a coon laying here oh this is that box I had it sitting up there and I moved it down here it whacked us a, a smaller coon today nothing huge but it's in the 220 
I like them like that. Get that off his head. Ooh, that's safeties. Barely on there. Hopefully that doesn't backfire on me. Fish is still in there. Get that off there. Okay, safety moved over. That was going to go one of two ways, really good, or I would have had to have edited that out because it would have snapped me on the hand and I would have said some bad things. <laughs> we'll get out of here. I thought I smelled something funny when I was up here and I came down here and heard my foot and thing rattling. We got a live stinker hiding down in there. I'm not sure how well this is going to go. I can't see where my conibears got him. Looks like my conibears got him by the, the hind quarters there. So we're going to have to try and get him dispatched here. Gorgeous skunk. Uh, I'll try and get you guys a look. As long as I don't get too stinky. Uh, and we'll get out of here. All right. That did not go too terrible. Uh, we got him. He's gorgeous, as you guys can see. He's absolutely beautiful. But we're actually pulling this box. Uh, to say that I was surprised uh, to see him down here would be an understatement. Oh, I got the cannon pointing at me. But glad to have him. It's actually the only thing this box ever caught sitting in that culvert. So, is what it is. Smelly feller, we'll be getting down the road. Oh, we got one here in the DP. Looks like a big one. Oh, they fenced off this culvert here, so I'm trapping this trail going over the top of it over here. Uh, nice coon though, a little bit of rub right behind his head there, but overall not bad. Get him taken care of and get down the road. This is really how people are, guys. If you look at this, someone shot this box with a shotgun. Uh, I'll guarantee you that's exactly what that's from. Huh. What a loser. Well, well, looky here. Got us another one. Big one. He's got a little, little, just a little tiny spot of white hair there. It's kind of interesting. Get this uh, daggum 220 off his head here maybe boy them new dukes are hard on the whole fingers but we're pulling these boxes down here and i can't carry them and the setter so leave the fish here for the survivors that will chase next season throw that box up there grab this other one out of the culvert here like I told you guys, um, starting to pull boxes. I'm going to try and get about half this pulled today. They're talking over the next couple days, four to eight inches of snow and up to 40 mile an hour winds. And I don't want to be trapping in that. So we'll get out of here. Looky there, guys. That is skunk number 60 sitting right there. Well, this might be kind of interesting trying to get him taken care of. Really good skunk here. I don't know what the deal is, but you guys can see him sitting there. We caught a lot of, a lot of coon here. Uh, I believe we caught another skunk here. Caught that red fox in the dog proof over there. And been a great spot. Nice little skunk, number 60. Oh, there's a matriarch of a dead gum possum there. Holy cow. Uh, still pulling. Uh, uh, trying to get this stuff done because it sounds like the snow's coming. The only question is how much. And with a minimum of four inches, yeah, I'm going to get out of here because that's no fun. No fun to trap in. Very dangerous to trap in. And I don't need to be getting hurt before spring beaver rolls around. I got plenty of fur to finish as it is, so. 
We actually need the snow really bad to get our creek levels up for spring beaver. Otherwise, I won't be able to drown my beavers. So, we'll get out of here, guys. I'll tell you guys what, we're not catching much. There's another good sized possum. Uh, actually, not as big as I thought he was from up top, but still, still bigger than the average. I gotta film something today, so you guys are gonna get to see some possums. I guess that's what I get for naming my video yesterday after these possums. My trap in there, the old Mr. Possum. Over to this other spot here. I really don't want to be pulling this line, but I've already rambled enough about that. Normally, if I want the weathermen to be wrong, they're never wrong, and if I want them to be right, they're never right. So, in this instance, I want them to be wrong. And that means it's probably not going to work out for me. Get that baby tucked in there. We'll get out of here. Ha <laughs> ha! Finally got one here, man. This culvert was so good last year and it hadn't caught anything until today. Nice big coon. We will maybe pop this baby off his head here. Sucks that we're pulling this now that we caught one. Haven't caught one in a while. Very excited to see him actually been a while been pulling like crazy and pulling these big heavy things is never fun set him there put that trap in the box i got another one on the other side that's empty so we'll gonna pull that and get out of here guys finally i couldn't believe that this hadn't connected yet Got us a nice big coon hanging out down here in the dog proof. Uh, just this little timber to timber trail with this culvert right here. Other dog proof sitting there is empty, but <clears throat> we got this nice big jumbo coon. So we'll get him taken care of and get down the road. Last location of the day. One possum. Two possum. Daggummit. Daggum possums. Come here, big boy. Oh, now my box is froze to the ice. There we go. Get that sucker up there. We never even caught a coon out of here. It looked phenomenal, but I think, let's see, two, one, one, two. Let's see, six. We caught six possums here and no coons. So, kind of disappointing, to be honest with you, it looked really good for coons. I couldn't keep the daggum possums out of my boxes. I should have put like 10 boxes here, show the possums who's boss, but it is what it is. You can always change it for next year. This one here is a giant, giant possum here. If that's your kind of thing. If you like giant possums, we got a lot of those today. Get this off his head. Come on, buddy. There we go. They're just the ugliest that gum things there is. That's just my opinion, anyways. Just ugly little fellers. Yeah, that one's a big boy. That's what I get for naming a video after the possums yesterday. A bunch more possums. Oh well, we'll be getting out of here. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, sorry guys, I had to line them up like that. I mean, that's just awesome, ain't it? 24 possums today. And then we got us 10 coons sitting up here. Uh, then we got our two skunks here. Number 59 is the bigger one. And then number 60 was the smaller one. So 10 coon today puts me up to 2,274 on the coons. 
Uh, we pulled about half the line today because that big snowstorm I keep rambling about is coming. Uh, and yeah, got us a pile of possums. Doesn't everyone just want their tailgate to look like that? <laughs> I had to line them up like that. Uh, that. That picture needed to be sent to some people. But uh, yeah, not bad. Got, got a lot pulled today. Uh, we'll see what happens with this snow tomorrow, but I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thanks for watching.